From the copper mines of the Congo, we have malachite uh, as the predominant matrix with a little shadow cut in between and it seems a dusting of uh, calcite. Now, this is the one way of looking at it. We go around like this, we have another way of looking. But what we actually want to see in the specimen, there he opens this fog. It's actually, you know what, the, the white may very well be tiny quartz crystals. It looks like quartz crystals over here. Uh, crust of Krause color quartz predominant matrix of this specimen is the malachite. So there you have this lovely vug, uh, tiny quartz crystal sitting on a, on a bed of um, shatukite sitting on the malachite. And that's from the Katanga copper crescent in the Congo, copper mines of the Congo. I'll just focus in on that. Oh, those are definitely tiny quartz crystals. I thought it may be calcite. It looks more like quartz to me from here. Of course, uh, it's always a good thing to look at my descriptions because uh, I do my identifications visually. So often I, 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 I go on the wrong track and under magnification I see a totally different... Uh, uh, the idea of the videos is that you actually got a pretty good indication of what we're looking at. Um, look at reflections uh, in the videos and, and actual color would be pretty much like that. And uh, of course display, lovely for display, that way around, move it like this, or even like that. It's also pretty bug happening right into there. And that's from the Katanga Copper Crescent, the copper mines of the Congo, Shatukite, uh, Quartz and uh, underlying Malachite.